Hey guys, uh, Sean here, uh, bringing you another review today. Today we're going to be talking about atomizers. Um, so I've got two atomizers that uh, we're going to do a side by side on today. Uh, we're going to be reviewing the Smart Vapes 1.8 ohm low res 306 dripping atomizer versus Clouds of Vapor low res MA306 at 1.8. 5 ohm um, and MA so clearly this is a uh, most angry industries spec uh, 306 um, so we're going to start off by checking uh, the resistance on them as they come they are both brand new in the package unused unmolested uh, have not touched them yet been specifically waiting to uh, to do this video for y'all before I do anything these are both atomizers that I have not specifically used either one of these two um, companies for the 306s or these spec. Um, and we will be doing it on the Buzz Pro so that we can play with the uh, voltage a little bit and be using the same juice in both of them after we measure the uh, resistance on them, um, see what we're looking at um, so that we can actually compare flavor um, throat hit and vapor production off of each of them and see how they compare. Um, so, without further ado, let me switch over to uh, a close up of the multimeter and we'll get to checking some resistance. Alright, guys, so I've got you set up on the multimeter there and uh, hadn't quite figured out a way to be able to get the uh, the atomizers and the multimeter on the screen at the same time um, so you're just gonna have to trust me that I'm testing the one that I say I'm testing so we're going to start with the MA306 from Clouds of Vapor um, and these are again most angry uh, industries spec 306's um, that are supposed to be 1.5 ohm so we're going to check the resistance on the leads first give that a second to settle okay, I'm on. I'm saying that should whoop, come on settle at about Point one, point two. Yeah. So we'll call it. Uh, we'll call it for argument's sake. We'll call it point two resistance on the uh, on the leads there. So let's see what we got on the MA three hundred six. And oh, come on. Looks like it's going to settle at about 1.6, 1.7. So you take the 0.2 ohms off there, and we'll call that 105. We'll call that uh, or 1.5. We'll call that uh, pretty damn close, um, if not right on what uh, they advertise it should be. So let's switch over to the Smart Vapes dripping atomizer and. If memory serves me correct, let me double check that. These should ohm out at 1.8. Now these are a little hard to uh, to ohm out because if you're not familiar with Smart Vape Stripping Atomizers, they are actually a sealed bottom. So there is no hole in the bottom of them, um, which uh, is nice. You don't have to worry about any uh, juice coming out the bottom, which I'll show you a picture of that here in a second. But let's ohm this out. So it looks like, if I can keep it steady here, that we're going to settle at about 2.0, which is minus the 0.2 for the leads, is right on where it should be. So for both these companies, so far, A plus for sending me exactly what they advertise they're supposed to be because that is probably the first time in all of my 306 
ordering that I have actually gotten what was advertised. So that's a, a big thumbs up for me right off the bat. So let me, uh, let me switch shots back here and we'll take a look at the atomizers themselves. Okay, so I wanted to give you a quick shot real quick of this uh, Smart Vapes uh, dripping atomizer. Now, on, uh, on uh, Alan's site, he uh, actually advertises these at 565 and they include a, uh, a drip tip um, on them. It's a, a rather short, plasticky drip tip. Um, so, if uh, you've already got another drip tip, you're probably going to want to use that because that seems a little close to the heating element for my particular tastes. Um, but the design of this is really, really neat because if it will focus, you'll see that it is a completely sealed bottom end to this. So let me uh, see, get this drip tip off of here and show you the cup. There we go. So that is the cup, if it shows up. And you'll notice that it is already debridged, dewicked, everything. As a matter of fact, there is not even any wicking material in the coils themselves. And it is a really large ceramic cup. So you'll, on, you'll notice on most of your standard 306s that you get, it just has kind of a little rectangular well in there just underneath of where the coil is. This is actually, they've moved the ceramic to the complete exterior, the outer edge of the uh, of the 306. So when you drip down inside there, <clears throat> excuse me, you're able to get a lot, <clears throat> a lot of liquid inside there. Now, really, really important with these dripping atomizers from Smart Vapes is you have to keep these um, wet constantly. Don't dry burn them. Don't, uh, don't dry fire them. Make sure that it stays wet because that wicking material is not inside the coil. It gets dry immediately. So, word of caution, make sure that you keep this atomizer wet at all times. Okay? Let's, uh, I, as a matter of fact, I am going to take and put a couple of drops in this because this is brand new and let it set for a second. And I'm actually going to be using a brand new juice that I got. I actually got a sampler pack from uh, Liquid Express of their Seven Deadly Sins. This one happens to be Gluttony. And uh, I'm not going to review the juice. You're going to have to stay tuned for that. And I will review the juice separately. But I'm going to put a couple of drops right into this and let it sit for a second while we talk about the MA-306. And let that kind of sit for a sec. Stay. So the MA306s come from Clouds of Vapor, and they come thusly with your standard uh, little plastic cover on it. And they are not debridged or dewicked in any manner, and have your standard bottom hole on it. So I don't want to um, I want to do apples to apples and compare these right as they come right from the uh, manufacturer. So I am not going to debridge or de-wick them. Um, I am going to add some juice to this to get it nice and saturated before we start doing anything. And uh, I'm going to give this a minute to set up and we'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've had the uh, atomizers sitting up for a minute here with some juice in them to get them good and wet. And I am going to pop them on the Buzz Pro here. And I am going to crank this down to right at 3.7 volts since these are low resistance atomizers. And uh, I'm going to be using just a uh, Delrin XL drip tip from Empire Mods. Um, and this is the Smart Vapes dripping atomizer that I've got in here first. So let's see how taste 
and throat hit and vapor and everything is on this. Wow, that's hot. That has got some, a, uh, puts off some incredible heat. I'll put a few more drops in there because I do not want this thing to get dry. So that is a really, really hot atomizer. Flavor is good. I just, uh, for the record, this is the drip tip that comes with that. And I just cannot imagine using that drip tip on that atomizer. The heat that this thing puts off is is incredible. I mean, it's really uh, it's really nice with the XL. And I imagine if I put my drip shield on there, it'll cool it off even a little bit more and make for a really, really nice vape. So that's nice. <clears throat> flavor is really good. I'm getting really, really good flavor off of that. And uh, for it being so hot is pretty impressive because usually when you get them that hot, it kind of fades the flavor out. Vapor production is okay. I mean, I've gotten better. So that's not... But flavor is uh, flavor's outstanding on it. <coughs> Excuse me, man, that's hot. Let's switch over to the MA306 and see how it compares. Okay, so I'm switched over to the MA306, which is 1.5 ohm, as opposed to the dripping atomizer. The uh, Smart Vapes is a 1.8 ohm so a little lower resistance I have not messed with the voltage at all it's at uh, still at about 3.7 and uh, let's take a uh, let's take a vape on this and see how it compares Vapor production is about the same on them. Um, the draw is a little bit tighter on the MA306, and I'm sure that that's because it, of the uh, bridge and the wicking material and everything on it. It is still a, uh, a fairly hot um, vape. I mean, I can uh, I can feel the the, the Delrin getting pretty warm under there. Um, flavor is still is pretty good. Um, I would say the flavor is probably not quite as strong, quite as good as what it is on the uh, on the uh, Smart Vape stripping atomizer. Real hot vapor. Um, I because this is 1.8, I am going to just take it up just a notch, maybe a couple of volts and see how it does there. It's not bad. Um, so if you're liking low resistance um, at a little higher voltage, uh, I think you'll be pretty happy with either one of these. Um, I can't see on the 1.5 on the Smart Vapes dripping atomizer going up really too high because it is really produces a, a ton of heat. Um, but it maintains the flavor of the juice really well. Um, the fact that it has a sealed bottom on it, I really like. Um, not so much of an issue with any kind of leaking or anything going on there. Um, and at 565, 
for the uh, Smart Vapes dripping atomizer. You know, I, I would have to say versus $799 for the MA306. I'm going to have to kind of give the nod to the to the Smart Vapes dripping atomizer on this one. Uh, I like the little airier draw on it, the fact that it's debridged and de-wicked. Like I said, the only thing you got to be careful with about that is that you cannot let that atomizer get dry at all. Don't dry burn it. Make sure that you keep plenty of juice in your uh, in your atomizer. With a drip shield on there to cool that off a little bit, I think you've got a, a definite winner on that. Um, the MA306, however, is a really good atomizer. It is better than a couple, better performance than a couple of the atomizers on it, and vapor production is probably just a smidge better than the the Smart Vape stripping atomizer. But I, I imagine if I crank the voltage up on the Smart Vapes one, that I'll get a little bit better vapor production as well. Let me take another quick toot on here. And the flavor is still phenomenal. Still really good flavor off of that uh, MA306. Not disappointed with either one of these. However, I uh, imagine that I will find myself using the Smart Vapes Dripping Atomizer um, a little bit more than, than this one. So I hope this was informative to you. I hope it helped. Um, both real good atomizers. I think the price point is probably a little bit better from Smart Vapes on theirs. Um, and uh, a little bit nicer draw, a little airier draw. Uh, I may uh, debridge and dewick this uh, 306 and uh, see how it compares debridged and dewicked. Um, if I find it better or have anything to add, I will make sure and put some notes down in uh, the uh, comments or put a little uh, annotation up here for you. But um, as it sits right now from the factory, um, I'm going to have to go with the uh, Smart Vapes uh, 306 dripping atomizer for the win. Uh, Thanks for watching and uh, keep vaping.